Hi Rockets, Miss Na here. Today we're gonna to practice a new skill. Today we're gonna to practice listening for the syllables in words. But what is a syllable? So we already know that sentences are made up of words and we can listen for the words in each sentence. We also know that words are made up of sounds and each word has a certain number of beats. The beats in word are, words are known as syllables. Today, we'll practice listening for the number of beats in our words. We'll practice counting how many beats are in each word by clapping the beats that we hear. All right, I'm gonna share my screen with you. You'll see here some back to school pictures. We'll practice clapping out each of these words to find out how many syllables are in each one. All right, so Rockets, what do you see a picture of here? That's right, it's a bus. So listen to the word bus. How many beats do you hear? Clapping out the word can help us determine how many beats or syllables are in a word. Let's try it together. Bus, how many beats did we hear? Bus. Just one. The word bus has just one syllable. Let's try another one. All right, here we have a backpack. Try clapping that word with me. Backpack. How many beats did you hear? How many times did we clap? Backpack. Two times. The word backpack has two syllables. Let's try another one. Right here we have a dress and a shirt. This isn't any ordinary dress and shirt. This is a uniform. Try clapping it with me. Uniform. Uniform. How many beats did we clap? That's right, three. The word uniform has three beats. Let's try another one. All right, here we see a book. Say it with me. Book. How many beats? Just one. Book and bus both just have one beat. Here's another one. I see a longer word here. I wonder if it will have more beats. So this is a place in a school where you go to eat. This place is called a cafeteria. Whoa, that's a lot of beats. Rockets, you clap the word while I count. Ready? Cafeteria. How many did we count? That's right, you clapped five times. I counted five beats. Cafeteria. Whoa, that's a lot of beats. Here's another special place in a school. This place has a lot of books. We go there to check them out, to read them. It's called the library. Notice I'm really stretching out that word to listen for the beats. Let's try clapping it. Library. How many beats did we hear? Yeah, three beats because we clapped three times. Library. All right, here we see something. We have a lot of these in our classroom. This is a marker. Say it with me. Marker. Marker. How many beats? Just two. All right, here we have something found on our playground, but this is a certain part of the playground. This is the slide, one of our favorite parts. So listen to the word slide and try clapping it out. Your turn. How many beats did you hear? Slide. 
slide. Just one, one syllable or beat. All right, here's the place where we put our belongings when we get to school. This is called a k b. Listen for the beats. k b. How many beats or syllables did you hear? k b. Just two. All right, last one. See another long word here. I wonder if it will have a lot of beats. This is an instrument we use at morning meeting to pick our pitch for a morning meeting song. It's called a, yeah, maybe you clapped it out on your own. It's called a xylophone. Can you clap it out with me? Xylophone, xylophone. How many beats or syllables did we hear? Three, xylophone. Thanks for practicing listening for the beats or syllables in our back to school words. You can do this at your house as you name objects that you see. You can count the beats in the words of the sentences that you say. You can even count the beats in the words from your favorite songs. If you'd like to do more syllable practice, there's an activity called clapping syllables in the Canvas Learning Portal for week two. If you do some syllable clapping practice on your own, feel free to send me an email to tell me all about it or send me a video of your learning. I'd love to see it. Rockets, I will see you next time. Bye.